Good morning from the French Alps. I've already got a sweat on this morning. I'm on the classic, probably the most popular loop in the Northern French Alps. It's the Col de la Colombière, Col de Zarevi loop. It's 100 k's in total, with just shy of 2,000 meters of climbing. We've got the Ors category, Col de Colombia, and the second category, Col de Zarevi. I've started this morning in the Salonge Valley, rolling past the Cascade de la Penaz, which is the third highest waterfall in France and joining the Chamonix to Geneva bike path which takes me away from the main road and down to the town of Clues where just around the back of the town we join the Col de Colombier. The Col de la Colombier is normally graded an O's category climb when it features in the Tour de France and it's definitely a climb of two halves. The first section of the climb is six, seven and eight percent and winds up through the trees. So you get some much needed shade on a sunny day before it opens out above Le Reposoir. As you come into the village, the road flattens out. You'll find some cafes in Le Reposoir and also you can fill your water bottles here. At this point, you're approximately halfway up the climb and make the most of the flat section. Because above Le Reposoir, you suddenly, above the tree line, and the gradients get a little bit steeper. I've previously uploaded the full climb from Le Reposoir to the summit of the Col de la Colombier. So you can have a look at it on your turbo. There's a link in the top right hand corner. Three k's to go and we're out on the veranda and it only gets steeper from here. So it's nine and 10% all the way to the summit. You can see the summit now. It's in the V at the top. There's a building just in the nook of the V. This last section, nearly always a headwind probably 90 percent of the time but i'm up here quite early today it's uh just before 10 o'clock and there's a very light cooling breeze we go let's see so that's the summit of the columbia wrap up for the descent down to Le Grand Bonon. Market day in La Grand Bonan, there's cafes, bakeries here, and you can also fill up your water bottle. So we join the Col de Zaravi at the busy little junction village of Saint Jean de Six. So the climb doesn't feel like it starts properly until you've negotiated La Clusa. If you want the true French ski village experience, I'd head down to the church area for a coffee in the cafes down there rather than on the main street. So for me, the Aravi is one of the most beautiful climbs in the Alps. It's only six, seven percent, but you can see it's always quite busy. Bonjour. 
I'm coming up to two k's to go and the views just get more stunning. Will we save the best view till the summit? So just around this corner, it's the big one. Look at that. Mont Blanc in all its glory. I can see the sun reflecting off one of the refuges just down to the left from the summit. Stunning, eh? So I turn left there, just before Flume, which takes me on this little climb before I drop down to the main Albaville to Majev road. So it will get busy once I'm on to the main road. So thanks for joining me on the Columbia Araby loop. And we'll see you next time on Cycling in the French Alps.